like to say great day to the viewing audience. Welcome to Walking in the Spirit, hosted by the Institute of Divine Metaphysical Research, Omaha. My name is Stefan Williams, and I will be your host for this day's program. We're going to continue on with our series entitled, Yahshua the Messiah, Instituted and Fulfilled the Old Testament. And I would like for those that are viewing this broadcast to get out your Bibles, your notebooks, your pens, your pencils, your highlighters, and study with us. Let's continue on. I want you to pick toward what I showed you. Go right now. Pictorial illustration right here. Frame it. And start reading. I need read for me, reader, please. Luke, the 23rd chapter, verses 52 through the 54th verse from the Holy Name Bible. Luke 23, 52 through 54, our Holy Name Bible. This man went unto Pilate and begged the body of Yahshua, and he had took it down and wrapped it in linen, and laid it in the sculpture that was hewed in stone, wherein never man before had laid. And that day was the preparation of the Sabbath drawn on. Is that the end Yes, sir. All right. The lifeless body, the lifeless physical body, excuse me, the lifeless physical body of Yahshua the Messiah, in the tomb over the Sabbath day was fulfillment of the Sabbath day. So now I need you to pin, uh, pan up here real quick, please. As we have here, Yahweh takes on shape and form Yahweh Elohim, then transfigures into this three-folded tangible tabernacle. Then you see him here, you see half of him, and you see the curation coming out, okay, of him, okay? You have the curation, you have the first day, the second day, the third day, the fourth day, the fifth day, and the sixth day. Then it says right here on the Sabbath day that he rested, okay? So the pictorial illustration that we, we just first showed, come right back down here, is the fulfillment of the fulfillment of this right here. Okay, it says Sabbath here. Just follow me. And you see it says Sabbath here. Meaning rest. Okay? And just keep it right here for the viewing audience. Matter of fact, come right back up here. Excuse me. Just Get right up here, get all the posts you can right here. It says the curation by the pattern. So just keep right here for a view, for a view and I just frame it right there. I'm gonna read be reading. I'm gonna be reading a uh, viewing audience from the Holy Name Bible, Genesis, the first chapter, starting at 32nd verse, and it correlates to go along with the King James Bible, starting at verse 1. Okay? Get, get it up there. Is it up there? Yes, sir. It says, Thus the heavens and the earth were completed in all their host. And on the seventh day, meaning rest, Elohim completed his work and he rested on the seventh day from all his work which he had made. And Elohim blessed the seventh day and sanctified it because that in it he had rested from all his work which Elohim created and made. Let's continue on. I need you to just to just keep it right here. Just pan right here and keep it here. Just 
keep it there. I need read reader, please. Matthew, the 11th chapter, starting at the 28th verse from the Holy Name Bible. And Matthew 11, 28 through 30, from the Holy Name Bible. Come unto me, all ye that labor, and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you, and learn of me, for I am gentle and lowly in heart, and ye shall find rest upon your soul. For my yoke is easy, and my burden is light. Thank you, reader. Also, I need read, reader, please, Hebrews, the fourth chapter, starting at the fourth verse from the Holy Name Bible. Hebrew 4 and 4 and 5 out of the Holy Name Bible. For he spake in a certain place of the Sabbath on this wise, and Elohim did rest the seventh day from all his works. Thank you, reader. And in this place, again, if they shall enter into my rest. Thank you, reader. Now we're going to be reading the institution from the Law and the Prophets, Old Testament, New Testament. I need read for me, reader, please, and you can pan right here. Get this whole frame in here, please, for the viewing audience. I need read for me, reader, please, Exodus, the 24th chapter, verses 3 through 8 from the Holy Name Bible. Exodus 24, 3 through 8 from the Holy Name Bible. And Moses came and told the people, all the words of Yahweh, mm -hmm. and all the judgments, and all the people answered with one voice, and said, All the words which Yahweh hath said we will do. And Moses wrote all the words of Yahweh, and rose up early in the morning, and built an altar under the hill, and twelve pillars according to the twelve tribes of Israel. And he said, young men of the children of Israel, which offered burnt offerings and sacrificed peace offerings of ox unto Yahweh. And Moses took all of the blood and put it on the basin, and half of the blood he sprinkled on the altar. And he took the book of the covenant and read it in the audience of the people. And they said, all that Yahweh have said, we will do and be obedient. And Moses took the blood and sprinkled it on the people and said, Behold the blood of the covenant which Yahweh has made with you according concerning all these words. All right. So I need you to follow me, please. Now, we have here a pictorial illustration. Most of all, thank you, reader. Right here we have a pictorial illustration of the man Moses here. You see the ten, the, uh, the table of the stone with the Ten Commandments written, seven on one side, three on one side. But it started from here. See Yahweh's mouth of Yahweh is, is, it, uh, has spoke down truly. But you see Moses had, had went up, was caught up, was told to come up on top of Mount Sinai and receive his instructions or receive these tables from Yahweh Elohim, right, and come back down at the uh, reader just got through reading, okay? And here's the people around here, okay? All right? You say he sprinkled the sprinkled altar and sprinkled the speak, sprinkled the people with sprinkled sprinkled the books with the blood also with the people and, on, and put blood on the altar and you see the 12 tribes camped around this tabernacle in the war of Sinai, okay? He had three tribes on one side, three tribes on another side makes six, three tribes on the other side makes nine, and three tribes here, okay? Thank you, reader. Also, I need read from a reader, please. Keep it right here, come back here. I need read, reader, please, from the prophets, 
Jeremiah, the 31st chapter, verses 31 to the 34th verse from the Holy Name Bible. Jeremiah 31 and 31 from the Holy Name Bible. Behold the days, saith Yahweh, that I will make a new covenant with the house of Israel and with the house of Judah, mm -hmm. not according to the covenant that I made with their fathers mm -hmm. in the day that I took them by the hand mm -hmm. to bring them out of the land of Egypt, mm -hmm. which my covenant they broke, mm -hmm. although I was a husband unto them, saith Yahweh. But this shall be the covenant that I will make with the house of Israel after those days. Now, hold it right there. Can you see this? Now, the question should be after what day? See, after his death. Okay? His burial, meaning Yahshua Messiah, resurrected, a quickening spirit. You see, this form here is different from this form here. Now he's in a superincorporeal form, okay? After those days, after his death, burial, resurrection, tarrying, and ascension, and the outpouring of the Holy Spirit that ushered in the New Testament or the New Covenant, which is written in the heart and minds of man now, and not written on tables of stone like back under the Old Covenant. He, he has fulfilled this. Fulfilled means to bring to a completion and to convert into a spiritual reality. Pick up where you just left off. Reader, please. And they shall, um, excuse me. After those days, says Yahweh, I will put my law in their inward parts mm -hmm. and write them in their hearts. Mm -hmm. And I will be their Elohim, and they shall be my people. And they shall teach no more every man his neighbor and every man his brother, saying, Know ye Yahweh, for they all shall know me from the least of them Unto the greatest of them, saith Yahweh, for I will forgive their iniquity, and I will remember their sins no more. Thank you, reader. Now we're going to be reading the fulfillment. Yahshua the Messiah fulfilled. I need red reader, please. Keep it right here, reader. Hebrews, the 10th chapter, verses 7 through the 9th verse from the Holy Name Bible, please. Hebrews. 10, 7 through 9 out of the Holy Name Bible. Then said I, lo, I come in the volume of the book, it is written of me. I delight to do thy will, O Yahweh. Above, when he said, sacrifice and offering and burnt offering, even for sin, thou wouldest not, neither has pleasure therein, which ye offer by the law. Then said he, Lo, I come, I come to do thy will, O Yahweh. He taketh away the first, that he may establish the second. Thank you, reader. Also, I need read, reader, please. Matthew, the fifth chapter, verses 17 and 18, please. Matthew. Fifth chapter, verses 7 and 18, please. Okay. Um, Matthew 8. Matthew, the fifth, fifth chapter, excuse me, please. Excuse me, excuse me. Matthew 5, 17 and 18, out of the King James Version. Read. Think not that I come to destroy the law or the prophets. Now hold it. Now, Yahshua Messiah is speaking at this time when he was walking around in his physical body. Before he came on his cross, he said, I'm not come. The coming to the to the loins of the Virgin Mary. Read that again, please. Matthew 5, 17 and 18 out of the King James Version. Think not that I come to destroy the law or the prophets. Now hold it. He said, now think not. I know what you're thinking. I know your thoughts. I, I, I can read man's unexpressed thoughts because I made the man and I, and I created the thoughts. So he said, think not that I've come to destroy the Old Testament, which is called the Law and the Prophets combined. Don't think that. I didn't come to destroy it because this is my identification. What did he finish saying there, please? Think not that i come to destroy the Law or the Prophets. I am not come to destroy, but to fulfill. Fulfill me to, 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 to complete, break to an end, and convert into a spiritual reality. 
Read on, please. For verily I say unto you, till heaven and earth pass, one jot or one tittle shall in no wise pass from the law till all be fulfilled. You see it says in here. Finish. Thank you, reader. Also, I need read, reader, please, Luke, the 24th chapter and verse 44, please. Luke 24 and 44 out of the Holy Name Bible. And he said unto them, these are the words which I spake unto you while I was yet with you. Now hold it. He said, now these are the words that I spoke while I was yet with you in the physical body. This is after my death, burial, resurrection now that I appear to you in a supercorporeal form which only can be seen in divine visions. You can't see this form of Yahshua Messiah with your physical eyes. Now he appeared to me appearing to them in the, in the divine vision now. It's the same word, one that was, that, was, that, that was incarnated in a physical body. He's not the physical body per se. He's spirit, okay? The same word that came out when he was in the physical body, the same words that are coming out when he's in, in, in his superincorporeal form. This is corporeal form. This is superincorporeal form. The same word, read. And he said unto them, These are the words which I spake unto you while I was yet with you, uh -huh. that all things must be fulfilled which were written in the law of Moses and in the prophets and in Psalms concerning me. Concerning me. Concerning me. Thank you, reader. I need read, reader, please. 2 Corinthians, the third chapter, verses 2 and 3 from the Holy Name Bible. 2 Corinthians 3, 2 and 3 from the Holy Name Bible. Ye are the epistles written in our hearts, known and read of all men. For as much as ye are manifestly declared to be the epistle of the Messiah, ministered by us, written not with ink, but with the spirit of the living Elohim, not in tables of stone, but in fleshy tables of the heart. Thank you, reader. Now I need read reader, please, and I need you to uh, just follow me, please. Pictorial. Go on and get it. You have it. Colossians 1 and 27, please. Acts 2 and skip that. Yeah. Colossians 1 and 27, please. Okay, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Go ahead. I want you to get right here. Do you have it, please? Yes, Colossians, sir. the first chapter, yes, sir. verse 27. Yes, sir. I need you to follow me. Now I need you. This is this this is a pictorial illustration. This is a type of shadow. But I will uh Illustrated in more detail as the reader reads Colossians, the first chapter, start at verse 26 and go down to verse 27. Finish there, please. Read on. Okay. Um, Read on. Colossians 1 and 26 and 27 out of the Holy Name Bible. Let's go. Even the mystery which has been hidden from ages and from generations. Now, this is a mystery. Yahweh is a mystery in a sense where he said that this mystery has been hid prior to the age that we now reside in now. It's been hid, but now it's been revealed, this mystery. And we're going to find out and reveal what this mystery is. Read. Even the mystery which has been hidden from ages and from generations, uh -huh. but now is made manifest. But now it's been made manifest or now it's been made known. Read. To his sons. To his sons. Not to everybody, but to his sons. To whom Yahweh would make known what is the riches of the glory of this mystery uh -huh. among the nations. Among the nations, read. Which is the Messiah in you. Which is the Messiah in you. Now, we're not talking about a physical body being inside of a physical man. We're talking about written in your heart and mind on the supercorporeal form. He said that the Messiah is in you as of today. Not going to come someday real soon and crack the sky, but he's in you now. That is the great 
esoteric secret that the Father Yahweh is only revealing that esoteric secret to his true sons in righteousness, not their own righteousness that, that they should boast, but it's the gift of Yahweh. So, Joe, you done. Which is the, which is the, which is the Messiah in you. Which the is the only Messiah hope in you as of today. Read. The only hope of glory. Which is your only hope of glory. That's the great mystery. Yes. Thank you, reader. You have John 14. You have it. Yes, sir. I need John the 14th chapter and the 26th verse from the Holy Name Bible read, please. John 14 and 26 out of the Holy Name Bible. But the Comforter, which is the Holy Spirit. Now the Comforter, which is the Holy Spirit, read. But the Comforter, which is the Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send in my name. Now hold it. Now this is Yach Messiah speaking at this time. He said that the Comforter. All right, now I need you to just hold it and pan and follow me now for the audience. Come right on back here. Now Yach Messiah speaking at this time. He said, but the Comforter, which is the Holy Spirit. You see where it says Holy Spirit here. The Holy Spirit is the, a, the, a title and the, the Comforter those are titles in the name of the Holy Spirit or the Comforter of Yahshua. And he said that, read, read please. But the Comforter, which is the Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send in my name. Now the Holy Spirit has a name, and the name of the Holy Spirit is Yahshua. And he said that the Holy Spirit that the Father will send, the Father's name is Yahweh, he will send in Yahshua's name. Read. Whom the Father will send in my name shall teach you all things. He's the teacher, read. And bring all things to your remembrance whatsoever I have said unto you. Thank you, reader. Now we're going to move on to the instituted, the law and the prophets, the government upon his shoulders, kingdom. You can just pan right here for the viewing audience. I need red reader, please, from the law. Genesis, the 49th chapter and verse 10. Genesis 49 and 10, out of the Holy Name Bible. The scepter tree should not be, excuse me, the scepter tree should not depart from Judah, nor a lawgiver from between his feet mm -hmm. until Shaul come and he shall be the expectation, expectation of the people. Uh-huh. You see he has shoulders, big to illustration, you see the shoulder here. See okay. The feet here. Okay. Thank you, Read. Also I need read from the prophet, Second Samuel, the seventh chapter, verses twelve through the sixteenth verse from the Holy Name Bible. Second Samuel Tw uh, 7, 12 through 16 out of the Holy Name Bible. Then Samuel took the stone and set it between Mis Mispah and Shehan and called the name of uh, Elbarneser, El saying, Hitherto has Yahweh helped us. So the Philistines were Sub subdued and they came in and they came no more until the coast of Israel and the hand of Yahweh was against the Philistines all the days of Samuel and the cities which the Philistines uh, had taken from Israel were restored to hold Israel. It. Okay, hold it. Is that Second Samuel? Yes, sir. Is that Second Samuel? Is that Second Samuel? Uh, second. Second Samuel, yes, yes. seventh chapter, verses twelve to the sixteenth verse from the Holy Name Bible, please. Excuse me. Second Excuse me. Samuel, yes, sir. the seventh chapter, verse twelve to the sixteenth yes, verse from the Holy Name Bible, please. Yes, and when the 
And when thy days be fulfilled, and thy shalt sleep with thy fathers, I will set up thy seed after thee, which shall proceed out of thy bowels, and I will establish his kingdom. He shall build an house for, for my name, and I will establish the throne of his kingdom forever. I will be his father, and he shall be my son. If he commit iniquity, I will chasten him with the rod of man and with the stripes of the children of men. But my mercy shall not be departed from away from him, as I took it from Saul, whom I put away before thee. Read, please. And thy house and thy kingdom shall be established forever. D, thy throne shall be established forever. Yes. Thank, thank you, reader. And we have right here a pictorial illustration right here of the temple, which is called uh, Solomon's Temple. And that will conclude another broadcast for this week. Until we meet again next week, I like to leave with these few words. Righteousness, peace, and joy in the kingdom of Yahshua the Messiah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah.